Oh man, plot twist. I believe, however, we can... Can we? I thought there was a teleporting pad around here somewhere. I thought there was a teleport pad around here. Huh. It looks like there should be a teleport- okay. Sorry guys, I was under the impression we could teleport back from here. Uh, I never bothered to do that here- okay. I guess I will not- this will not be 100% run as I thought it will be. I will be missing, I guess, just five golden bolts. It doesn't really matter. I've gotten all the things that I think are important. Anywho. Yeah, so, that just happened. Ratch is kind of dead. And it's kind of a problem, I mean, like, he's turned to the main character. Don't worry, I shall make it! For Ratchet! Open the door, do you hear me?! The clock, much like time itself, is a gift, and not to be tampered with. Are you kidding me? You think I'd leave my best pal out here alone? Your father went to great lengths to protect this room from those who would abuse it. I wouldn't risk any more than six minutes. Six minutes? Oh man, second plot twist. Ow. I didn't... I think I always get hit by that first one. Your mistake. Whose home is it they're going back to? They have already found their home. But you? You just can't move on. That's... agreed. Of course not. Consequence is what makes our universe. It's what creates laws and rules. But disobeying those rules is what got you into this first place, in this mess into the first place, now isn't it? Indeed. Once again, it looks like there should be a teleportation thing over here, but there isn't. It's weird. Time shift initiated. You have no idea what you've just done. He has no idea what he's just done. Oh man. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the true final boss of Let's Play Ratchet & Clank Future 2, a, cr a crack in time, General Azimuth. Now, General Azimuth is a tiny target, which is why I mentioned earlier that the Rhino 5 is not very useful against the final boss. It is The final boss was not, in fact, nefarious, it was, in fact, um, General Azimuth. And General Azimuth, as I just said, does not... Oh, God! Who can play at that game, sir? Except my minds explode when my enemies walk by them. Unlike your pathetic things. 
you are a fool. Actually, I'm curious. How will this work? You know, this could actually be an effective strategy. Where did he go? They don't last very long, though, do they? So, yeah. The only... The, pretty much the best thing about this weapon is the fact that it plays the Overture. I don't actually think it's a, that good of a weapon. But whatever. Uh, let's try it. You know what? We can do this. Take this. Take the... Eat Fongoid technology, you Lombax fool. He also does a lot of jumpy, jumpy, air aerial acrobatic things. Sort of like you can, like this. Yeah, he does that. He, he also does aerial acrobats in our style. Um, he can, of course, do that projectile lightning thingy. He can deflect attacks, if, if you haven't seen that already. He can go, go ra spin around us like this. And then throw bombs. And it makes it kind of hard to hit him. So I'm just going to use a Fred. He can hit me, because I'm dumb. Well, that was buggy. Oh, hey, that actually works on him. I'm like, why is the planes can't get caught in this net, but bosses can? That makes, like, no sense. As you can see, he's kind of throwing mini-bombs everywhere. Wow. Uh, he's doing his deflecty, shockwavy thingy thing. That I forgot about. Um, you know what? Shotgun. Shotgun should be able to get him in this state because you know it's a shotgun. They've saved themselves. You are just looking back on your mistakes. You must move on. Pa Past cannot be fixed. Time does not work like that, Asmith. You and you are a fool for believing that you can bend time to your own will. Where do you acrobat yourself to now? Oh. I can't let you do this. You don't have a choice. So you're just gonna kill me? Kill you now, save you in the past. Oh, so there's always a way that's that's awful convenient, don't you know? Do you ever need my help? The only thing you wanted me for is to clank. Did, wasn't it? In the end, that's all you wanted. You can't be bothered to fix, to let go of your own mistakes, so you're just using other, me as an excuse for your own failure. Yeah. As you can see, Rhino f uh, 5, not useful. Well, wait, what the hell? Please tell me I don't have to restart that entire fight. Dang it! Oh, what the heck? Oh, we can teleport back in time to Nefarious' space station. That's interesting. But, I do not want to do that. I will just buy some ammo and, um... Um, let's decide what we're going to use, because that did not work, just going in willy-nilly. So let's get a, um, Mr. Or a Mr. Zircon. And then, eh, why not the Rift? We're going to have to, unfortunately, start that entire fight over again. Alright. This is why you want to play? Fine. By me. Yeah, as you can see, I'm doing way more damage with these weapons than I was with the, um... Uh... Rhino 5. Because, as I mentioned, the Rhino 5, not that useful. This boss fight, I was using it because it has a lot of ammo. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, goodness. Hey, it's their dimension. Yeah, but you didn't.
Yeah, at the cost of the entire freaking universe. No thank you. Let's see, does he freeze with the crown mine glove? I don't think he does. Wow, he dances a while. You know, this place looks like it's, like, gonna crash. How convenient. Although I've already said that, so... No, it wasn't, my friend. Now we're out of that ammo, so we're gonna have to use a, be a bit more creative. So now we're gonna have to use a shotgun. So yeah, Groovitron's actually kind of broken. And now I'm gonna get another Groovitron out, Tron Tron out, because Groovitron. It'll make using um, some of my stronger weapons a bit of less of a hassle. I believe we get cutscene to ourselves a cutscene for the end of this. And then, after we use that, why not use the Rhino 5? You know what? Why not? So, guys. That's the end. No! What are you doing? Come on! It's not working! Why isn't it working? Because it's not a time machine, Alistair! The clock isn't meant to alter time, only keep 30 it! 30 seconds until total system failure. So sorry. No. Let me. What are you gonna do? Take care of yourself, Ratchet. He did a brave thing, Ratchet. You should be proud of him. Well, looks like there's just one more thing to fix. Timekeeper restored. I'll leave you two alone. Take care of yourself, pal. The dog, much like time itself, is a gift. I cannot stay. I am sorry, but discovering my family has made me realize that I cannot leave Ratchet. Not until he finds his own. I hope you understand. You're leaving? Energy output normal. Harmonic stabilizers stable. Why aren't I freaking out? Perhaps you are ready to be promoted. Senior caretaker? Yippee! Thank you, sir. Take care, Sigmund. The clock, much like time itself, is a gift. 
and not to be tampered with. But like any father, my only wish is that my son does that which makes him feel whole. You are an intelligent and logical being, Clank. But intelligence and logic would have been wasted gifts without honor and loyalty. I am proud to see you came into those on your own. So, should the clock be too small for your plans, I pray the cosmos light the way towards a future you yourself design. And remember, the universe has a wonderful sense of humor. The trick is learning how to take a joke. <laughs> Well guys, that was Let's Play Ratchet & Clank Future 2, A Crack in Time. I hope you enjoyed the story of this game, as I did, myself. Uh, I'm at the last game- oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, never mind, you can go fast credits, I didn't- Oh, but you can't move the things, okay. Anyway, you can go off fast credit -y mode -y mode mode. Who's that? Huh? Huh? Wake up, you darn fool! Huh? What? What happened? Wait! Hey, it's Crockett's ever. Hey, what's with all the words? Those are credits. You fell asleep during the game again. <sighs> Kiriminy, you're right. Quick, hit the rewind button. Now, Crock, these folks worked hard on this game, so you just you just sit there and appreciate them. Easy for you to say. You still have some semblance of bladder control. Sheesh. Well, Kronk and Zephyr. worked on this one, huh? In my day, we did it all with three robots. A spiral notebook and some wire. Yeah? Well, in my day, we didn't have wire. We used yarn, and our controllers didn't have any of this shoulder button stuff. No, we had two buttons. Two buttons? Ha! I did it with one button and a joystick. Yes, sir. And if the game broke, we couldn't do nothing but blow the dust off and try again. All right, all right. Just, just, what's the darn credits? Fine. But after that, it's on to challenge mode! I will not be doing challenge mode. I will be doing challenge mode into the Nexus because it's such a short game, if I haven't mentioned that already. Credit, 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 Commentary, 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 commentary. Are you guys bored? I'm bored. Uh, this is gonna be some sort of report about a female Lombax. It, it doesn't really come up again. Planets everywhere rejoiced this morning to find that this strange time phenomenon plaguing the universe had miraculously disappeared. Experts are still theorizing it could have caused the disturbance, but have reduced the threat level from sunset red to a soothing azure blue. Thanks, Kip. In other news, a giant space station thought to be the lair of the fiendish Dr. Nefarious exploded last night, leaving the Vollards with a ton of salvage. Actually, you know what? Okay, guys, I've decided not we're not going to fight Vorslon for a while. I may come back to this in a bonus episode much later. How no chimps were harmed in me <laughs> again. Cutscene. Hello, is anyone out there? Hello, celebrity in need of assistance. What's that, Snowball? Little Jimmy fell down a well. Oh, you're hungry for blood. Oh, I was way off. Let me just go. Boy, this is bad. Uh, little help here. Ratchet, Frank, Helga, anyone? Nice snowball. Nice snowball. Down, snowball. Hey, hey, hey. Easy on the goods. Okay. 
So, Quark's never appearing again. Loading. Hey, why are we loading the Corvus sector? What's going on? What's going on? Ratchet space rat! Your path is far from over! For you see, the most horrifying truth has yet to be revealed! My dear Longbax, I am your father's accountant! Did that do it? Did that sufficiently blow your mind? Let that just roll around for a bit. Oh, now, come, find me in the Corvus Sector, and let us end what we began! Vorsalon, out! Okay, I've changed my mind. Since he brought it up so nicely, I'll have to handle it right away. I really hope I do get enough time to begin Ratchet and Clank, uh, travel back in time before we fought Nefarious.